Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So I finally tested the Flycolor Raptor 30 amp ESC in a real world scenario, which is on our ESC testing quad. Now, if you remember this uh, a while ago when I built it, I had Emacs 2205S motors on there, 2300 kV, but I've gone ahead and replaced them to the Emacs 2306 2400 kV because it simulates, it's exactly how our testing rig is set up. So it's only obvious and, you know, logical to do the same thing. So let's talk about some of the components. So it's using Emacs 2306-2400KV motors. Very noisy, very powerful. I really love them if you get them just right. ESC, this is obviously your ESC testing quad. Currently it has the Flycolor Raptor 30 amp ESC. This is what I'm considering and what I have been calling the best budget ESC for a while because of all the testing. And the testing does not fail. I mean, it didn't fail here. It didn't fail here. It didn't fail anywhere. That, that's what I really love about the testing. It gives us valuable data. Now it's not the ultimate truth, but you know, of durability, of current draw, of all that stuff, but it gives you, you a better educated guess on what to purchase. Because if the noise is being withheld, then, you know, the whole, the overall ESC is going to have a better lifespan. So, uh, these tested absolutely phenomenal. I ran a lot of tests on them, so I really had high hopes for them. And they, they, to be honest, they didn't disappoint at all. And let me explain why. Uh, the flight controller doesn't have voltage regulator on board. It's all on flight controller. There's no voltage regulator on board. There's no PDB in the way. There's no low ESR capacitor. And not a single line of noise on any throttle level. And you'll see that in the FPV video feed. I have the little throttle thingy here. If you take a look, you could see when, you know, what percent throttle I'm hitting. And you can see that throughout the throttle range, there's no noise in the video feed, which is awesome, which is to be expected um, from all the testing. If it didn't, then something's obviously wrong. So, um, but if I had, let's just say noise, and I could, sometimes high D could create noise that's unfixable. So just take that into consideration. But we didn't run into that. Um, I did have a tuning issue that I didn't have time to tune because I wanted to test the other one. So you'll see a little oscillations at lower low throttle, but that's a tuning issue. And I just didn't have time to do it. But anyways, it flies overall very good. You'll see that in the video. Now there's something a little bit that I actually didn't like and I never really noticed before about this quad. Uh, it's the camera. This is it was a very expensive camera. This was a Foxeer. I mean, Runcam Eagle Two Pro. This is Runcam Eagle Two Pro. Uh, one, I really did not like the quality. Maybe I need to play with the settings. I have it default. I didn't like the quality. That's one thing. Another thing, I felt a huge latency. I really did feel the latency. I could totally feel it because I was flying back to back with like a Foxeer and that. RC Lance one also, um, but yeah, the, the latency kind of killed it for me. I don't know why I'm able to notice it so much more now. I used to always fly more than one quad, but I just really, really noticed it. I really didn't like it. I have to take this guy and test the latency. So I really did feel a lot of latency with this, but over I could still fly it, but it was really annoying because I know how I can make it work cheaper. So that's why it really annoyed me. Uh, the frame is the iFly, I think it's called the XL5. I'll leave a link to it down below. I really, really do enjoy this frame. This frame flies so good. This is one of my favorite uh, uh, top mount frames. It has a lot of space inside. And um, obviously, it's a hugely beautiful, nice, clean stack. So I really like this quadcopter. Uh, this is the ESC testing quad. You're using ESC and TX526. So overall, how are the ESCs? The ESCs perform very good. You're going to see that on FPV flight footage. Uh, it would just work good. I mean, uh, there's nothing more I could really say just about the quadcopter. But yeah, we're going to see what's going to be next on the ESC testing quad now. This is not our 4 in 1 ESC testing quad. Our 4 in 1 ESC testing quad, I think that's the one that got lost, or was that the motor testing quad? I don't even remember, but we'll figure it out. I think I have a 4 in 1 ESC testing quad that, dis yeah, it disappeared down with my first GoPro. And then the motor testing quad is the ones that usually. Uh, I lose GoPros or they get lost. So I, I really hate those motor testing quads for some reason. It's also a frog, by the way. But yeah, this ESC testing quad is good. But for some reason, when I make a dedicated quad, it has to have some kind of fuck ups, basically. This one already burnt like two motors for me because of the ESC telemetry bullshit. Um, the, the motor testing quad basically always either lost. The first one lost with the GoPro. The second one, which was a while ago, I lost the GoPro, but I found it and all the motors are ruined, but that's, I don't care about the motors right now. I still can't find the other GoPro and the SD cards in there were pretty damn expensive as well, but it's okay. We've, we, we've solved it basically. Um, so yeah, 
Overall, this was good. And by the way, um, one of the zip ties was kind of loose while it was holding the GoPro, kind of like this nature here. Um, because I guess one of the props struck it because it was hanging right there. You can totally see that right there. But anyways, overall, it flew very good. The ESC is absolutely phenomenal. That's what the video is about. Uh, the ESC flew absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to leave it at that, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you found this content useful or you do enjoy this content, please consider supporting the channel in any sort of way. It goes an absolute, absolute long way. I do have these at my shop for absolutely cheap and some other things cheaper than almost anywhere, uh, depending on where you live, obviously. And um, yeah, Patreon also, you get giveaways, you get secret access to the shops, you get some cool things. So all these kind of crazy good stuff. So yeah, if you would like to support the channel, that would be absolutely phenomenal. And I'm going to let you guys go with the FPV footage. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.